Hi, I'm Kate. Welcome to my channel. I've been doing ballet photo shoots for over 10 years now. And during those 10 years, I've developed a routine for how to pack my bag and which items I consider the most essential for a ballet photo shoot, both outdoors and indoors. So let's dive straight in and have a look at what those things are. So let's start off with outfits. If I'm doing a, say, two to three hour photo shoot and the photographer hasn't requested that I bring anything specific, I'll normally bring around three outfits. And that might involve perhaps one leotard, one floaty dress, and then perhaps maybe a more pedestrian outfit. So, for example, shorts and a t-shirt. I'll try to ensure that all different outfits are different colours and have different aesthetics to give variety in the photos. I will also pack some nude underwear. So this will usually be a strapless bra and also a nude pair of shorts that I'll put under a long dress so that if I'm doing high extensions, I don't flash anyone. I'll also bring with me an outfit that I can either travel in or that I can use as warm-ups between shots and this will usually be like an old pair of trackies and then maybe an oversized jumper so that I can throw this over the top of my outfit perhaps if I'm shooting outdoors and it's a bit cold um, or so that I can use them as warm-ups and I will usually bring something that's a bit old and I don't mind getting dirty in case I am warming up outside. Next, moving on to footwear, because I'm a ballet dancer, I'll bring point shoes with me and I'll usually bring at least two pairs. So one pair will typically be quite old and, you know, a pair that I'm not worried about wearing outdoors and getting dirty. And then the other pair will usually be newer so that if I am shooting in a studio and we want a cleaner look, these are going to look much better. Then I'll also bring with me a little sewing kit. And in fact, I'll often bring with me this pouch I have that's got a mini sewing kit, a pair of nail scissors, um, and then a few point to accessories. So I'll have plasters, toe tape, some spare toe separators and toe pads. And it's kind of just like in a little emergency pouch for in case anything goes wrong with my point shoes or if I develop blisters. You'll want to check beforehand with the photographer if there will be a professional makeup artist or hairstylist, but quite often for casual shoots there won't be. You'll need to do this yourself. So if you do wear makeup or if you're planning on changing your look, then remember to bring your makeup and then also hair accessories. So I'll bring a small hairbrush, some pins and maybe a spare hair elastic and some... Uh, hairspray. So this just means that you can change up your look and create a bit of variety between shots. Don't forget deodorant. You might smell fine when you're leaving the house but you will probably be dancing for a few hours so make sure you've got some of that on you and I'll also usually bring some body lotion and this just helps to make the skin look much healthier in photos. Next up, we're going to look at general maintenance. So really important, you bring some water with you, stay hydrated. Then personally, I get hungry so quickly. So I'll bring a little snack with me, maybe like a cereal bar or a banana, just something I can transport easily, but also eat quickly on the go. And then I'll often bring a tennis ball with me in case I get like a muscle cramp or I just want to roll out between shots. I really recommend you bring some wet wipes with you, especially if you live in a big dirty city like I do and you're shooting outdoors, you might find that, you know, you're doing a pose hanging off a lamppost or maybe you're crouching on the ground and it's just your hands get so dirty so quickly or maybe if you're, you're crouching, your knees might get filthy. You might even scuff your shoes. So just being able to pull out a wet wipe is so handy. I will also bring a plastic bag with me. Again, this is most important if I'm shooting outside because quite often, like I said, you might need to crouch on the floor or you might need to sit on a bench. And well, I live in the UK where it rains constantly. So quite often that bench is going to be a bit damp <laughs> and a sitting on a plastic bag means that you're going to stay dry and clean, but it's also small enough that you can hide under your outfit so you don't see it in the photo. 
And finally, I will bring a portable phone charger because I use my phone a lot. I ran out of battery very quickly. And if you're shooting outdoors, you won't necessarily be near a plug. And now for our last few items, if I am shooting on a colder day outside, and to be honest, I do try to avoid shooting in the colder months, but you know, again, I live in the UK, so if it's kind of chilly, I will bring portable hand warmers. You can either get the gel ones there where you click a metal disc and the gel reacts and it warms up and it will retain that heat for a few minutes or you can get the ones that I've got in my video where you just shake them for about five seconds and they'll heat up instantly. Now I will also bring with me some Ugg boots. I know they're perhaps not the most elegant of shoes but they are so handy when it's cold outside especially if you're shooting in point shoes because personally when the weather's cold or damp my feet can get so sore shooting for hours outside and my toes can feel like ice blocks. So I will often wear Ugg boots to the photo shoot so my feet arrive really toasty warm and then between shots I'll whip my shoes off, put my shoe, put my feet back in the Ugg boots and just give them a little break and a chance to warm up again. And then sometimes I will even put the hand warmers inside the Ugg boots if it's really, really freezing outside and I'm struggling. And last but not least, if I'm shooting in a studio that I'm not familiar with, I'll bring a little bag of resin with me just in case the floor is slippery. Also, if you wear tights under your point shoes, a little hack is to put some resin on the inside of the back of the shoe and this will stop the back of the shoe from sliding off. I must say though, when it comes to shooting outside when it's freezing cold, I actually have a whole method. Um, lots and lots of other things I bring and there are other ways that I'll prepare for an outdoor photo shoot in the winter. And I'm actually thinking of doing a separate video just on this. I hope you found that useful. I will add as well that I usually bring a selection of reference photos and these might be photos of other dancers that I really like and I want to take inspiration from. Or if I'm working with a photographer who doesn't know much about ballet, I might bring a few pictures of myself and then show them a few poses that I want to try so that they know what they're looking for and when they need to press the shutter so they know for example if I'm doing an arabesque they need to wait until my leg gets to a certain height before they press the shutter. Um, I also want to add that if I am working with a photographer um, that I know very well or if I'm shooting in a location that I'm really familiar with I won't always bring all of these items with me. For example if I know that the studio doesn't have a slippery floor, I won't bring the resin. Or if I'm working with a photographer who likes to shoot quickly and isn't too fussed that I change up my look, I won't bring my makeup. Um, but if I'm shooting with someone new, I'll probably bring everything in this video just so that I have all grounds covered. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful or if perhaps you do ballet photo shoots and you usually pack something that I've not covered in this video. And I plan to do a video on outdoor photo shoots in the winter, so keep an eye out for that. I'm also planning on doing a much broader video on how to prepare in general for a dance photo shoot, so keep an eye out for that too. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.